I've gotten a few questions about the available memory after iOS has been installed. So let's see what's available on these three devices. They are iOS 8.3 on a 32 gigabyte iPhone 4S. This is 8.4 on a 64 gigabyte iPhone 4S and 9 iOS 9 beta 2 on a 32 gigabyte iPhone 4S. So it's not the same devices, but we can do the math afterwards. So let's set it to English. Go all the way down. United States. United States. United States. Let's go on Wi-Fi. See, iOS 9 is a little bit slower, but let's wait up for it. Okay, this I will dim out when I type the password, but uh... and we're ready to start. So let's go into now. general about so at first you'll notice that we have 26.6 available on the iOS 9. Thank you. 26.8 on the iOS 8.3 and 56 on the 64 gigabyte version. So by a point 6 gigabyte on this one, point 0.6 on this one, and point 0.6 on the 8.3. Let's see if it stays the same. Decompressing something, so it's uh, increasing in size. Let's give it a few minutes. Settle down. I'll fast forward a bit here. So point six on the eight dot three. Point nine on the sixty four gigabyte eight dot four. 0.9 on the iOS 9. Let's give it another minute. Seven on iOS eight dot three. Let's turn off the video, wait ten minutes, and then see if it is done decompressing whatever it's doing. Let's see. Ten, 10 minutes has gone by and we're about 0.7 on 8.3 and a full gigabyte on 8.3, 8.4, sorry, and 1.1 on iOS 9 beta 2. Surprising. Let's just let them sit there for another five minutes and see what happens. 
time the last time. Let's check. for the 8.3 still a full gigabyte on 8.4 and what is it 0 0.9 on the iOS 9 beta 2 let's leave it there